gorgeous. Welcome to my April favorites. It is insane. Where did January, February, March, April go? Oh my gosh, it's May. It is insane. And summer is going to be here before we know it. And it's going to be summer vacation for everybody in school. And it's just crazy. I just feel like the time flew by. Um, I, but I feel like the older that we get, the faster time goes. And I don't know why that is. Um, but I have a really a whole heck of a lot of stuff to talk about with you guys and I'm really excited about everything that I'm talking about. And um, I haven't done a favorites video in a while and you guys have been asking for it. So here we go, let's just jump right in. Okay, so first up is makeup. And these are the things that I have had on repeat lately the last month or so. So you've probably seen me use some of these things and um, that's because I really legitimately like them. So first up, let's start with primer. This is the Cover FX, it's the anti-aging primer. I use this in most of my videos because I really, really like the consistency of it. It has, it's not clear, it's more of a yellow consistency, but it, the, feeling of it when you apply it to your skin is just very silky and it really helps to find, you know, fill in those fine lines and give you a really smooth canvas for a beautiful application. So I really, really love this primer this month. You guys know that I love highlighting and contouring. It's like, I'm like the self-proclaimed queen. I like, I really, really love it. It's like my thing, it's my jam. And um, this product I've done an entire video on. It's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And so you've already seen me use it. And if you haven't checked out that video, I'll list it down below for you in the description bar. But I love this palette most, most of all for contouring for beginners because powder is a really easy way to get your feet wet in the contouring world because the creams and the liquids and all of that, you know, with the foundations and everything, that can be super overwhelming if you're not super, if you're not familiar with your face structure and the high planes, low planes, all that. This is a really great way to just dive in. Okay, so while we're on the topic of highlighting and contouring, this is a new product for me. It's the Cover FX Contour Kit. Clearly I'm a Cover FX girl because I love um, their cream foundations. I've done a contouring video on that on those products and I love them. And that's exactly what this is. This is a cream kit for highlighting and contouring and it makes it really easy because it's numbered one, well it's upside down, but it's numbered one, two, three, four. But the thing that I love about this is it comes with a little kit here, or um, diagram, and it tells you what numbers to use on what part of your face to get the most out of the product. Uh, if you follow me on Snapchat, then you saw me open this uh, when I got it a couple weeks ago and I really love it. Let me tell you what my favorite thing about this is and you know that you guys know I'm all about the highlight. I love a good highlight. There's nothing just, mm, it's so good. And I really love the Physician's Formula Nude Wear, clearly, because I talk about it in every video. But this one, the number two, is the highlight. And I'm gonna put a little bit on my finger. And I'm gonna, well, I already have it on right here, but you can see, you just dab it on, and it is the most intense, gorgeous, oh my gosh. It's just so, 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 so gorgeous. Look at that highlight. Ah, uh, ah, so good. Guys, I love this kit. I used it today. Um, I contoured my nose with it and um, I really like this. So check it out if you haven't already. Okay, moving on to another product that you've already seen me do um, a look on and that is the Lorac, the Unzipped Golds palette. I really, really, really love the colors in this because the color payoff on metallics, I feel like, is some. It's kind of hard because I feel like a lot of metallics, the color payoff is just like not there. This is insane. I'm gonna just color swatch it for you really quick. I'm just dab dabbing my fingers in so you guys can see. Can you just? Can we just talk about really quick? That is insane. It is gorgeous. The, these colors are fantastic, and even if you don't want the metallics, I like to use the new, the matte nude color undressed to just set my base in place and I love Unwind and Undeniable for a, a crease color or a transition shade. This is a fantastic palette and if you're in the market for a new palette for spring and summer, I, I really recommend this one. Clearly, I'm all about like bright lips right now because with spring and summer, I feel it comes like all of the bright, gorgeous pinks, purples, everything like that that you can just really play up. Whereas in the winter, you tend to stay away from the bright, bright colors and go more bold with, you know, deeper reds and whatnot. Today, the combination I have on is my MAC More to Love lip liner, and then I topped it with Milani Lipstick in Rose Hip. Um, this one is a dupe. I found this one on Pinterest as a dupe for MAC, I think Girl About Town. It's a great color, and I actually love Milani, um, their formula, because 
I just wanted to pop it on really quick, I don't know why. But it smells like strawberries and watermelon is what it reminds me of and I really, really like the, the way that the color stays in place and I just, I'm a big Milani fan. Another couple of lipsticks that I've really been loving, um, I love the Melted, the Too Faced Melted lipsticks. I have uh, Melted Fig. I tend, I've been wearing this a lot lately and I really like it. The um, Stay Power or Stayability or however you wanna say it, it doesn't stay all day like I would like it to, so you do have to touch it up. But I love the formula and I love the color payoff, so this is a win for me. Another lipstick that I'm really loving right now um, is it's the Maybelline Color Sensationals, and this one is in Power Peony. It's a really gorgeous hot pink with undertones of purple. It's really pretty. It's a great drugstore product, so next time you're out, check these out because I really, really like the consistency and I love the color payoff or the pigment in it. My last makeup product isn't technically makeup, it's a product to help you keep your makeup clean. If you haven't seen my Beauty Blender video, make sure to check that out, I'll list that below for you too because I am all about doing full face with a Beauty Blender lately because you just get that really flawless airbrushed look. And a lot of people have been asking me, how do you clean your Beauty Blender? And I always said, well I like to use the, the actual liquid um, soap because I feel like it does a really good job. And it, I guess I was a little premature or naive because I'd never even tried the solid soap cleaner. This stuff is so good. I love that it's literally a bar of soap. You just wet your beauty blender, swirl it around, and it gets the makeup out so fast. Whereas the liquid soap, you kind of have to work and work and work to get it out, and I don't like that. The other thing that this is really awesome for is washing your brushes. I just take my brush while it's wet and swirled around and it gets all of the makeup out of the brush so clean. This is a major, major score for me. I love it. Okay, so now we're on to a little bit of skincare. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, then you know that I really, really love sheet masks. I love, and I love Korean skincare. I found this mask brand, it's called Leaders in Solution and I buy it on Amazon. This is the Collagen Skin Renewal Mask. It is a sheet mask and I buy this in the box by like the tens because it really just, it makes your skin so bright and beautiful and luminous and that is my, by far, the best sheet mask that I've tried yet. And they're so reasonably priced. Um, by the way, everything that I talked about today is gonna be listed in the description bar below. So just go ahead and click down there if you wanna see anything that I'm talking about or visit my blog, AngelaLanter.com. Next, I wanna talk about a, a little bit more skincare, but this is more body. Last week, um, I went to Dallas for the Reward Style Conference and I got to meet with the L'Occitane uh, people, brand brand reps, and um, they gave me a goodie bag full of products, and I'm, I was new to L'Occitane, I had never tried it before. I am obsessed, like obsessed, and the reason that I am is because these products are, I feel like, just so luxury, and I haven't even tried them all yet, um, so I'm just going to tell you about the ones that I've tried and that I love. Um, first up, where is it? I, I don't even know how to pronounce these names guys, so I'm sorry if I'm butchering them, but I'm guessing it's the La Vendée. It is the Foaming Bath Bubble Bath, and I used this last night, and it says two to three spoonfuls, spoonfuls and I put two spoonfuls, and it, it was like a mound of bubbles, and it was like the most luxurious, relaxing bath that I've taken in so long. And I felt like I was in a spa because this, because you know how when you do bubble baths, um, you put the bubble bath in, but you don't really smell anything, it's just bubbles. These, these bubbles actually smell good. This is the best bubble bath I have ever taken probably in my life. Like I'm not even exaggerating. It felt, I, I was literally sitting in the bathtub and I was like thinking to myself, I don't even feel like I'm at home in my bath right now. I feel like I'm away in a luxurious spa and the only difference was that I had this bubble bath going. It was, it was crazy, it was so good. Um, another thing from them that I'm really, really loving is their, um, their milk concentrate. This is actually a body lotion. This is what it looks like, well, the lid. And, but it's it's a milk. So it's, it's pretty thick, but then you put it on and it just, your skin absorbs it and it feels, your skin just feels so silky smooth and it smells fantastic, just like divine. So I am such a fan now of L'Occitane and I can't wait to try all the other products that I have from them. The one thing that they gave me that I was so excited about was they had given me fresh dried rosemary, or not rosemary, um, lavender, and I was so excited to take it home, but I couldn't bring it home because it, I couldn't get it in my bag without it breaking everywhere. I was so sad. 
Another product that I'm really, really, really loving is this perfume and it's distillery, it's by Distillery General and it's sea salt. And I know this is available at Anthro. It smells so good. It's, it's not a um, super girly, um, florally scent. It reminds me of the beach is what it smells like. It, it is so good and I have, ever since the day I got it, I have worn it every single day. I love it and it, the, the scent actually stays with you, which is what I love so much about it. Another thing that you've probably already seen on my Snapchat, and I can't have a favorites video without talking about a candle of some sort. So this month, I am loving the Value Spots, the Suede Blanc. And it's a very masculine scented um, candle. It smells like cologne, but it, it's just a very romantic masculine scent, if that makes sense. And um, I love it for my bedroom because I just feel like it gives a very just inviting, warm, smell and aroma maybe is what I'm looking for, but I really love this candle. All right, now on to hair. All right, guys. First up, I wanna talk about this little guy. It's the Fave 4 Texture Takeover. This is actually, it's a hairspray, but it is called Oomph Enhancing. I really, really love this for braids. And that's actually how I found out about it is because I went to an Insta Braid event and they were using this. What I like to do is I like to spray my braid with it and then pull it out. You know, like I, you know how I always, I always pull a braid. It just gives it so much texture and body and just character, if you will. I love this stuff. It's a fantastic hairspray. I actually have more products from them that I haven't even tried yet and I'm really excited to try those. Another thing that I'm loving, and this is actually wet because I had to take it out of my shower, I have never been a two-in-one shampoo conditioner kind of girl. I just feel like I don't get, my hair just doesn't get the benefits from it. Um, but Purology has this new one and it's called um, Purology Hydrate. It's a cleansing condition. So it's a conditioning shampoo. The reason that I like this more than anything, and you guys are probably gonna think I'm silly, is that I love the tingling sensation that my, my scalp feels when I have it on. Is that weird? Probably, I don't know. I also love that it's one application in the shower and I'm done. I don't have to do a conditioner anymore because this is conditioning. So it's um, it's not, it's uh, no sulfate, so you don't get the bubbles out of it, which there's a lot of people I can, I can imagine don't like that because you don't feel like you're getting the most out of your shampoo if it's not lathering and creating bubbles. So you kind of have to get beyond that because just because there's no bubbles doesn't mean that it's not doing its job. Um, so I have to do seven pumps because of how long my hair is because Girlfriend has some serious little long hair. Mm -hmm. But um, I actually used it this morning and my hair, I have no other product on my hair right now. I have, I have nothing except for, um, I put some uh, heat protectant on it, but that's it. So I really, really, really like this product. Ah, we're getting close to the end. Okay, next I have a couple beauty, or I'm sorry, fashion favorites. I am in love with Kendra Scott lately, and this ring is one of my favorite pieces from her. Um, I love all of her earrings, necklaces, everything like that, and if you follow me on my blog or Instagram, then you see me wearing her jewelry all the time. It's fantastic. I love her pieces. Check her out. I'm gonna link this below, but this is my favorite new jewelry piece. I, I have not gone a day since I got it without wearing it. That's saying a lot, because I, I like to change my jewelry a lot. Another thing that I'm really, really loving for spring going into summer is lace. This is just a top that I grabbed. It's from Ann Taylor, but I love the lace design and um, really it's lace in general. I think lace is so feminine and so flattering and it can be done so tastefully and um, especially like for Love and Lemon's eyelash lace kind of feel, I just love it. It's bohemian but yet so chic. So lace is like very in with for me this, this season as well as bright colors. I love bright colors. And then I just wanna show you guys really quickly my new bag because I'm obsessed. This is my first Tory Burch bag and I'm so excited. It's just a little crossbody bag and it's this Cognac, Cognac, Cognac? How do you say that color? I don't know, but it's a light brown color. I love Tory Burch and I can't believe I've never actually had a bag of hers before. I, I have her uh, Riva Ballet flat shoes and I love those. This is my first bag of hers. So about my tech favorites lately, I guess this isn't really tech, but the book that I've been listening to. Um, the last time I talked about books, I believe we talked. I talked about Lynn Austin in the series that I was listening to, um, Candle in the Darkness. I finally finished all three of those books and they were fantastic. They were Civil War era romance novels, but they were Christian based and they were so good. So I actually loved her books so much that I decided to move right on to another Lynn Austin book. So right now I'm listening to While We're Far Apart and it is a World War II era book, and it's actually very much 
um, told from a, the children's perspective as well as from their, I guess their nanny. And I feel like this was such a good fit for us at this point in our lives, in my life, because Matt's getting ready to film a movie all about World War II, about the ship that his grandfather actually served on. And um, I am, so I feel like we're very much immersed in World War II stories and history right now. And this was just such an easy fit and I really enjoy it. I'm almost done. I think I have like three and a half hours left of the book and it is so good so far. Another thing that I really kind of just want to introduce to you guys that I haven't talked about before is the TV shows that I'm watching. And um, I'm a big Netflix girl and I've talked about in videos how much I love old Hollywood and I, that's pretty much all I watch. Whenever I have the TV on, I'm, I'm usually watching an old film of some sort, a classic black and white film. Um, lately on Netflix, I have been watching the show Bomb Girls. If you haven't seen it, and if you are a fan of the 40s era, World War II era, then you should totally check it out. It was a Canadian-based show. I'm on season two right now, and I am, I really enjoy it. I just, I don't know, it just, it, it just is, it just does something for me, knowing that I'm, like, watching the era that my grandma was, like, in her heyday. So, I love it, and if you guys are into that, definitely check it out. All right, guys, so that was a lot of stuff, and I just probably talked your ear off, and I hope you're still sticking around and you're not bored of me yet. Um, if you have any requests for anything that you'd like to see from me coming up, please let me know in the comment section below. I love listening to what you guys want to see from me. Also, make sure to check everything I'm talking about, I talked about in today's video in the description bar, as well as on my blog, AngelaLanter.com, and come over and say hi to me over on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all those fun places, and Snapchat. I love Snapchat. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I love y'all so much. Au revoir. So guys, what do you think about the final look? I love it. I love it. And um, I know I say that about every look, but this one I particularly love because it's Princess Jasmine.